Hi guys, this is Tegel 007 here yet again with another video for you guys and guess what it is? It's about my editing skills, right? So it's going to be on Filmora X on their zoom and pan. Plus, I'm going to be showing you guys three tricks that you need to know at the end of the video. So be sure to stay until the end. So to start, first of all, we're going to go over the easy steps. So how to zoom in, how to zoom out and all. And then gradually, we're going to move on to the advanced steps that you need to know. So to start with, we've got this video in here of this girl that is like turning around and obviously there will be some areas where we want to zoom in and zoom out, maybe go to the side, maybe to the left, you know, we'll just do those tricks. Also, if you're still editing on Filmora 9, then I have so many videos that you can learn from. So go ahead, grab it from the cards above or from the description box below. I have a whole playlist on it. Now on this one, let's go and bring in the video, then drag it to the timeline. From here, you want to right click, obviously cut the bits that you don't want, so it's up to you guys. It depends what video you're using, but for now, I'm just leaving it as it is and we'll just go from there. Let's click on crop and zoom. From here, you've got a few options. So you got the normal crop, which was obviously the same as Filmora 9. So I just want to go over what this actually does. So for example, right now she has turned her back on us and we want to just zoom in to her hand, one of her hand. So let's play this. There you go. It's just zooming towards the right top hand side okay so if, if you want to see in here so it's obviously pointing to the top right hand side of the whole video so if you play this it's still there so you can't see the whole video right okay so let's go back again press on crop and zoom otherwise on your keyboard you can press on alt and c now let's make this back to original size which is 16.9 this is the ratio right okay so that's basically a very simple way of how you can you know zoom into an area if you wanted to in the whole video you can obviously split the clip so for example if i press ctrl b that will make a split an alternative way to make a split is just clicking on the scissor icon and that should make a split for you as such there you go so what we're gonna do right now is make it to the normal size all right so here we go so i pressed on ctrl and z to go back one step so now we've got the whole video as her face is revealing that's where i would like to zoom in this case so let's go right here we go i want to put a split in here and then i want to put another split right about okay here let's put that split right now we can play however we want with this video but for now let me click on this last part of the video let's go and we'll talk more about what's inside the crop tab so we've got the crop and zoom window and we've got the ratio so from here you can choose a number of different options so for example 16 by 9 is for you know YouTube purposes 101 I believe is for Instagram so if you wanted to make a video and so it fits your Instagram screen this is the best option to choose you can otherwise customize it and then change the ratio size from here so for example if I change this to maybe a thousand so you can see that the crop has changed before it was to its full extent and then it went to like around half i'm just gonna take it back also notice that there are a few buttons at the bottom so like there's a play button 
you know there's a stop button backward and forward and then you got the reset button which you can press and it will take you to its original settings which is 920 by 1080p let's go on to the second tab which is pan and zoom this page is quite interesting because this will allow you to zoom in and also do some extra bits to it as well now that we've pressed on pan and zoom we've got a few options in here so we've got these four arrows that come together if you press on that as you can see in here there's two windows in here so there's the start and then there's the end so basically what this is is that we've got a zoom in here so the video will start from here so as in as a full frame then it will crop down to this much of her video let's play that now and see how it is right okay as you can see it's slowly zooming in and it will get to that point right at the end of the video there we go there's a few other things that you guys need to know obviously the ratio and everything is the same and the reset and then the second option you can see is four arrows going outward so this basically switches between the start and the end periods so start is where it will start from here when you play the video and then it will end it in here so what that means is that it will start from the crop window and then slowly zoom out to get to the full extent of the video right so here we go let's play that again right so you, as you can see it's going back so it's basically reversing what we just did now there's more okay so what you could do you could actually make this small so it only zooms on her face or maybe you want it to zoom in to somewhere outside the actual picture or the video of the girl maybe onto the trees so if you press on ok in here so here we go has start because obviously we had the four arrows that, that were going outwards it started from the trees first and then zoomed out of it and got to the girl and obviously it's the same vice versa if you press on this it will end it actually here so if you make this smaller or maybe let's see this time it will go to the right side we press on ok let's play that again there we go so go to the right side then we've got these two which is obviously opposite of each other so if I click on that the video will start from here and end around here so let's play that so it's basically coming from the side way yes there you go so it's going towards the left and the same as this one it will start from the right and go towards the left you can make this even bigger by dragging the sides maybe come to the center and then just press on ok there you go I think this is really cool if you're doing those b-rolls it's really great to be working with these pan and zoom I think it will give you some nice shots right now on to the tricks remember I have made a split in here so I've got two splits in the actual video so in here and here so the first trick that I want to show you guys is that it's very simple you just click on the video so right now it's turning anti-clockwise but if you want it to turn clockwise you can click on the video or any video in here and then press on reverse so this will actually get the girl to turn the other way so now it's turning clockwise that was the first one so for the second one I want to so basically I want to put a freeze frame on the girl's picture as it's revealing and then take a snapshot so it's basically going to give it an effect of just taking a picture of the video itself 
so as she's turning so we're trying to take a picture of her face right so here we go i've got a split in here where she's just revealing her face and then another one where she's turning away let's double click on that and i would like to go in here and click on freeze frame so this is going to freeze the whole of this picture it will have it like on a standby so let's go ahead and put an animation on the freeze frame double click on the video go on to animation go down to where it says present motions and then you want to click on boom you double click on it and then to make it even more dramatic we want to go on to audio and click in here I think it's called camera yeah here we go camera snap want to press in here let me just play this and you'll see what I mean there we go but obviously we don't want to be getting the whole three snaps we just want only one of them so I'll just go in here so I'll just go in here and just basically trim it and delete this bit there you go so if I play the video again I'm just gonna make it a bit small the screen so you guys can actually see what I'm doing there we go and then her face will just reveal right so I've just made some adjustments to it so we get the girl's face exactly there we go let's play that once more there we go okay and then she's turning back okay I'm just going to remove the reverse from here and see if there's any zoom on it I want to remove the zoom just reset it to what it is And here we go okay so another thing in here you can do is put element on top of this so as we've got the picture snapped we want to put a timer on top it's not gonna be a real timer it's just gonna be like a fake one so it's just a neon clock in here from the elements tab so I'm just gonna put it right from where the video starts let's press and then we've got that for a few seconds and then that's it there we go right guys so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe like and share it and comment below if you want to know any more tips and tricks on Formora x and i shall do that in another video there's going to be tons of videos coming so don't forget to subscribe take care bye